Hey, welcome to Brewtorials. I'm your host Craig, and today we're going to talk about all right, footbeds, footbeds, footbeds. Super important. So, a footbed is going to be one of the most important pieces of gear you ever get. It solves 90% of people's problems they have in ski boots. So, I can't stress enough how much you should be skiing with one. I basically don't sell any boots without the accompaniment of a footbed of some kind. If you're not skiing on a footbed, you should change that as soon as possible. Think of a footbed as the foundation for your entire body. It's basically where you want to start before you move on to any other aspect of your boots. When you look at your foot, it is a soft, malleable, floppy foot, and you're trying to stick it into a hard, plastic, rigid shell. Now what you want to achieve is synergy. You want to secure your foot inside that boot so you get the most comfort and best drive through your ski. So the purpose of a footbed is to set your foot into a neutral position. And the reason I use air quotes is because not everybody will be able to get 100% into what's called subtile and neutral, but it is the ultimate aim of why you're putting a footbed under your feet. So what most people's feet are doing is what's called pronating. This is where your arch elongates and flattens and the foot starts to roll inwards. So what you want to do is get some arch support under there and restrict that movement. So that pronation causes a bunch of problems. It puts extra pressure on your ankles, on your navicular bone, but also transfers all that weight out to that fifth metatarsal and puts your foot on the edge of the shell of your boot. Not only that, but it contributes a lot to shin bang and also blood flow issues through your ski boots. So getting some arch support under there is what's gonna restrict that movement and get you into a better alignment inside the boot. So with that alignment corrected, what that's doing is drawing your toes back and bringing your foot in off the lateral side of your shell. So that gives you the true fit of how your feet will be secured inside that ski boot. So you will want your ski footbed to have a little bit of give under the arch, not completely like a hard plastic like you'd find in a shoe orthotic. Uh, reason for that is they're only designed for the forward and back walking motion. They generally won't fit into your ski boots anyway, but what we're doing when we're skiing is pronating, supinating, diving onto your edges. So having that little bit of give is going to allow your foot to stay comfortable, won't feel like you're standing on a rock, but you still want to have that nice support. There are a few features which determine what makes a good footbed. First thing you should look at is the heel cup. Seriously one of the most overlooked things in a lot of customs that people make and also nearly all trim to fits don't have a deep enough heel cup. Why it's important is it stops any of that rotational movement in the heel and also gives you that super locked in supported feeling in the back of your boot. Next is a balanced even arch support. Super important in supporting that arch, getting you the best drive through your skis and holding your foot in that position. So what's going to allow you to transfer all your energy through your skis and what's going to restrict that elongation movement not only stops you from slamming into the front of your boot, but also keeps the strain off that plantar fascia ligament that runs through the base of your foot. So another thing to consider is a good metatarsal pad or metatarsal dome. What that's gonna do is evenly distribute the pressure across the forefoot, it brings all those bones into a nice alignment. And you're not generally gonna find that on a custom footbed unless someone installs that for you. Usually you're gonna approach that if there is like a dropped met, raised met, or maybe some nerve problems through the forefoot as that helps relax everything there. But having that on your standard footbed can work wonders for a lot of people. So I can't emphasize enough how much a good footbed takes the impact out of your landings. And whether you're sending a cliff or if you're coming up short on a knuckle of a jump, having that footbed is what is gonna do wonders for you. There's a few different types of footbeds, uh, starting with trim to fits. They're gonna have their molded shape and you're just gonna trim the legs with them and get them into your ski boots. Uh, from there, you can move on to something a little more heat moldable, uh, something that's going to have a little bit of customization to it, and then you move into a fully custom, heel stabilized, posted and ground footbed. So, here's a myth that any boot fitter is going to be able to make you a top notch footbed. Sadly, this is just not the case. All too often, I'm replacing poorly made footbeds of people that walk into the store. Um, really, if you're going to invest your money and get something, Custom footbeds can seriously be the ultimate thing you put in your boots, but you want to do your research, take your time, and find someone with a good reputation who can really make something nice for you. So there is some more advanced elements when it comes to footbeds. 
I'm gonna go through some of them in another video, but I just wanted to cover all the basic focuses and points and the philosophy behind footbeds. So thanks for watching, stay rad, be a patriot, signing out.